when you are doing any sort of UI, visual design, graphic design, or just anything digital, you will need to use the RGB tool to get the color that you need. Here's the question. How do you know which color to use? Do you ever feel like the color that you picked end up just to be a little bit off, but you don't know why? And maybe you just keep trying, but you still don't think that looks right. How do you decide which shade of color to use? Is there one shade better than another? Is there a rule of thumb? I know there could be hundreds of questions on colors, and that is exactly what this video is about. The short answer is yes, there is a general guideline of color usage in designing UI or UX. The long answer is let's first roll the intro. When you are doing your UI or visual design on your website or app, you want to make it look great. If not, at least look right. The goal of this video is, of course, to pick the right colors so that your UI appears to be right. I'll walk you through my entire learnings and experiences in the past. It actually took me quite some time to get it. But when I got it, I got it. So hope this video will give you that I got it moment and also save you some time from choosing colors so that you can use that time more wisely into iterating your design. Here's the agenda in which I will answer three questions. Number one, why I don't think school taught me enough about color. And number two, what should you know about colors in UI and UX design? And number three, how to pick the right color in UI UX design. I don't recommend skipping directly to the last section because the first two are actually very important to know. And in fact, it might be eye-opening for you. Well, without further ado, let's dive right into it. <sighs> Chapter 1. Why I don't think school taught me enough about color. I would say schools explain color in a very scientific way, but in reality, colors are quite subjective and perceptive. The perception and interpretation of color define whether it looks good or not. However, according to most of the design schools or design program, colors are very logical, very similar to how Wikipedia explained it. RGB is additive, if you blend all together, it turns into white. The primary color is red, green, and blue, that's why it's RGB. Well, to me, I think it's good to understand colors in the fundamental and scientific way, but that did not help me understand how to use RGB and what RGB to use to get the right color to use in any UI and UX design. I know how to mix a red color, right? I just do the RGB, bump up the R value, go into 255, and I will get the red color. But which shade of red should I get? No, school didn't teach me that. It didn't even tell me anything close. That is where I see the misalignment between what the school taught me and what I need to know. How did I deal with that? Well, that leads us to chapter Two, what should you know about colors in UI or UX design? Well, since school did not teach me, that means I have to go on my own adventure to learn everything on my own, which just means a lot of Googling, reading a lot of articles, and look very closely to good UIs, and kept testing different color values. With the information that school taught you, and being a new designer in UI or UX field, you might feel very lost in picking the right color. Well, at least I was. Until I came to the following realization. UI colors are digital. Physical colors are physical. Duh. If you mix the two, well, you'll be as lost as I was. And let me elaborate. For the sake of simplicity, let's just say all the colors that you use in UI, UX, visual design, anything that you do on a computer screen, digital colors. And anything that you see in physical products, physical colors. So for digital colors, RGB is probably what you're familiar with, red, green, and blue. And that's the main way you will mix your colors in any UI, UX design in Sketch, probably. There's also hex code, which comes in the FF000 format, and also the HSB, hue, saturation, and brightness. So these are the three main ways to create any colors in Sketch. So let's say red, for example, in the RGB, it will be 255, 0, and 0, which is the exact same thing as the hex code of FF0000, which could translate to 360, 100, 100, 
for the HSB value combination. For physical colors, one of the most famous ones that you might know is CMYK, stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. That's probably what your printer use. So if you get a new cartridge, it will come in four different ink boxes. One has C, M, Y, and K. Another one that you will deal with on almost a daily basis is Pantone color. It comes with way more varieties because each Pantone color comes with 18 base colors. So there are a lot more combinations there. So it could come in for more high-end prints, in fashion, in your clothes, in your phone, in your computer, in a textile. All those are actually in Pantone color. So fundamentally, digital color and physical colors are mixed in a very different way. There's no one-to-one -one direct mapping between these two. This is very important to know because, for example, if you want to steal a physical color and use it on UI, it probably won't work. And that's probably one reason that you might find your color looks off. The second thing you need to know is that we, as human beings, perceive digital colors and physical colors very differently. And let's start with physical colors. So for example, this Google hat is a physical product. So all the color that you see on it is Pantone color. It's not CMYK, okay? Lights shine on the hat and the hat reflect those lights to my eyes, okay? So this is the path, that's how I see this red. In the meantime, there could be any other lights coming off any other reflection. So for example, this light could hit the wall behind me and then it hits the red and then it reflects off of the head to my eyes, okay? So there are many different paths, the lights bouncing off of all the objects and flat surfaces. There can also be a toned ambient light. For example, if you see my environment, like this light bulb, for example, is more of a warm yellowish tone. So that could also affect how I perceive the red in this physical product, this hat. Because of these paths and also other complicated reflections and interference in the environment, the color intensity in the product can actually drop. So the color I see on the product is generally softer and less intense because of all these things are happening, because it's reflection based. Hypothetically speaking, let's say in a factory where they mix this color is red 100, okay? So when I get the product and when I see the red, the actual red that I'm perceiving, that I'm looking at, that I can receive from the reflection is probably not 100. It would drop to maybe red 90. That's why if you go to the movie theater, they will turn off all the lights, let me put this down, when they're showing the movie so that they can minimize all the reflection, the interference from the environment. So any of the visual quality brightness from the projector could retain almost 100%. And digital colors, for example, work in a very different way. If I turn on the screen and I look at it, lights come directly from the screen, go directly to my eyes. They don't need to reflect off of any surfaces. They go directly to my eyes. If I have red 100 on my screen, it will probably still be red 100 when the light gets into my eyes. So now let's get to chapter three. How to pick the right color in UI UX design. The baseline for the right color is that it at least needs to be comfortable to look at for an extended period of time. You can just use one minute as a way to test. If you can stare at the color for more than one minute, that shade of color is probably okay. The reason being, in any UI UX design, whether it's an app or it's a website or any digital interfaces, a user will be looking at your design, your interface design, for quite some time. Whether it's just for fun to browse around like Pinterest or for getting some stuff done like Gmail. As a user, you are going to spend quite some time interacting, looking at, using the design. So for any color you pick, I would say the minimum requirement is that that shade of color needs to be comfortable for your eyes. The implication here is you should avoid using anything too saturated, too vibrant or anything too intense. Any of those typically indicates something is wrong. For example, if you use the bright 25500 red, it's more like signaling for danger, like think about traffic light, right? You don't keep staring at the light 
or think about anything too vibrant like the vest that the construction workers wear it's just a signal for warning, caution those are just meant for grabbing attention for a very specific purpose it's not for typical everyday looking at it for a few hours colors one way to double check is that whenever you pick a color check the HSB value combination especially the S, the saturation if that is anything higher than 90 it's probably too saturated you don't want to use anything that high it's not going to be very UI or user friendly if you're still watching you probably already get a sense of some shade of colors will be better than others just to give you a quick demo here are the three main ways that I use to pick some nice UI colors if I want to use red I'm not going to use the red 25500 the primary red color it needs to be much much softer it needs to be toned down it needs to be a little muted so when I handpick my color in the, the color picker view in sketch for example I can drag horizontally watch the S value in the HSB combination if I drag horizontally from the right to the left it's going to drop from 100 to 0 you can generally pick something in this area avoid the end because that will be way too saturated if for some reason you want to use it drag it down so they can tone down the brightness so it's not going to hurt your eyes so much you don't need to memorize any of the HSB or RGB value let your eyes tell you whether it looks comfortable or not whether it looks right or not let your eyes let your basic human instinct do the work the second way to find any right color is for example you can look at this website which was what helped me understand colors for UIs they all fit the criteria they're not too saturated not too vibrant not too intense they are just in a nice muted tone which might give you the sense that they are flat colors which is why the website is called flat UI colors and this is actually one of the reasons why we call nowadays the interface design flat design another way is you know find apps and websites with good design take a screenshot paste it into your sketch file and then use the color picker to sample that color if you do that a lot you will just naturally instinctively develop a sense a general idea of what colors look right and what colors look good that's all i have for today thank you guys for watching if you find this video useful and insightful please go ahead and destroy the like button for the youtube algorithm if you want to see more ux design videos like this also consider smash the subscribe button as well doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content out of the room have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future see you on the next video cheers